so hi everyone so today we would be looking at the real world recommended systems as in the previous video we actually worked on the retrieval part so in this part we would be looking at the ranking system which follows the same process as we talked about in the tensorflow recommendation recommended system so in this particular notebook we would be working on getting our data splitting into our training set and testing it and we would be implementing a perfect ranking model not just by importing but creating our own ranking model using tensorflow recommender system and then we would be uh, evaluating it after compiling it so as usual uh, you have to first install the recommender system because they are not present in the library form they are all they are present in modules form so once you have installed them uh, you need to import some basic libraries like tensorflow datasets because in the previous video i told you about the movies recommendation system that we worked on the 10k movies lens system same we would be doing here so we are importing os then file dict and text and numpy and tensorflow and similarly the most important thing that we would be importing is tensorflow recommenders so once we have done that we would be following the same process because we are working on the same dataset that is movie lens that is 100k rating so once we have imported it we need to divide it into training and testing data set so for that i am using the map function and lambda x for movie titles user id and user ratings once we have done that we are good to go because our data set is ready as before we will split the data by putting 80% of the ratings in the training set and 20% in the test set so as you can see uh, the data is getting pre is lo uh, getting loaded from the tfds library that is the tensorflow data sets if you don't know about it i would give you the link to the video in the description section now once the data gets imported it would hardly take i guess 10 to 15 seconds for the whole data to uh, get imported and once it gets imported we would be dividing it and we need to make sure that the shuffling is is done like last time because we are now using tf dot random set seed so to people who those uh, who, who don't know why we actually shuffle, uh, shuffle the data it's to, uh, through various research paper it has been shown that if you shuffle the data before using it into the in the actual model for testing and training that outputs actually comes in a very positive way so that is the reason we are using a random set seed and we are do, doing the shuffling the seed is 42 and we are reshuffling each iteration is equals to false now here comes the training the shuffle take the shuffle scape for testing so it would take 80,000 of training part and 20,000 of testing part so we are good to go now let's figure out a unique user IDs and movie mo movie titles present in the data so it's really important because we need to be able to ma map the raw values for our categorical features to embedding vectors in our models and for doing that we need a vocabulary that maps a raw feature value into an integer and we would be doing that in a continuous range so this is the movie titles the batch for it and we are using the lambda function as usual for the same same happens for the user ids now for unique movie titles we are actually using the numpy unique library and getting the unique titles and the unique user ids so this will make things easier for us because we you know we need to do a categorical uh, embedding so once those things are done we will move to the architecture of the whole model implementing an idea we, you know the ranking models do not face the same efficiency as retrieval models too so let's take a break and actually look at what is the difference so the retrieval stage is actually responsible for selecting an initial set of 100 of candidates from all possible candidates okay now the main objective of this model is to eff efficiently weed out all candidates that the user is not interested in because the retrieval model may be dealing with millions of candidates, it has to be computationally efficient now the ranking system is a bit different than this it takes the outputs of the retrieval model and fine tunes them to select the best possible handful of recommendation so its task is to narrow down the set you can imagine it like this you have a group of 100 candidates uh, for an interview now your system actually view the profile views the profile and then tells you that these 20 candidates are the best uh, are the best suited for this particular uh, job now you need to rank them that which five candidates i need to take now that whole system would you can imagine like a funnel similarly ranking system would take the retrieval data that 20 candidates that you chose and now would rank those 20 candidates accordingly now from that you can choose five best candidates for yourself 
so ranking models do not face the same, same efficiency con constraints so a model composed of multiple stack dense layer is a relatively means you know common architecture for ranking tasks same we would do here we would do file the movie lens model the tfrs models dot model the self ranking model the ranking model and the task as usual and we will call it here now compute loss is happening same as the last time so if you haven't seen the last video i would highly recommend you to go and see it so that you can remember the details i am telling you here so we will return the self dot task the label the prediction and i will just run it so here you see the ranking model we are calling from tf keras dot model and now ranking models uh, the so this model would take user ids and the movie movie titles and the output as a predicted rating so i'm using this one so the ranking model it just has not been defined here so that's not a problem i would just make sure it run in this again and it would it, it, it should it should work most probably so once the ranking model has been defined it's very much important that you actually work uh, uh, work, uh, work on the model fr from the both bo both the perspective that is computing loss and calling the function itself same happens when you load and load the matrix the next component is the lo loss used to train the model so in this instance we will use a ranking object system so you can think something like this uh, we are using tfrs.task.ranking the loss we are defining here and the matrix that we are defining here okay so what i will do i will just run them all once again yes so we will together be using the mean squared error keras loss in order to predict the ratings so you have just defined the task here now <coughs> for viewing the full model we can put it all together into a simple model you know just last like last time the movie lens model and we are defining the self function here and all the things would be similar okay so i would just commit it out for the next time and yeah here we go now coming to movie loss function uh, the the movie lens model the call function is same the compute loss function is same the ranking predictions the labels everything looks same so i would just run this and now coming to fitting and evaluating so we will call the model here the movie lens model and we are compiling it using the optimizer dot add a grid so the learning rate would be 0.1 and compiling might take a bit of time but we haven't called the model here so it's not, the ranking model is not defined it's showing so that that won't be a problem i think here i would just take this thing here and define it over here so things would work most probably right okay so just run this yes so <laughs> the part where you run this it would be showing you the whole optimizer part and the aggregate system would work now coming to why we are using this so the cache train is going to shuffle the whole data like last time and uh, the caching testing would do the same now we will fit the whole model here we will evaluate it here and we are good to go now this is the the part we are think it a bit tricky means here you see the cache data that, that you have shuffled is going to be the same data that you took in the initial stage of training data and same happens for the testing part now model dot fit is going to use the cache training data and the epochs would be equal to 3 and we will evaluate it here now i want you to go and just make some basic changes like the movie that we put here was i remember it was one flew over the cuckoo's nest 1975 you can go to the data set and just put a movie of your own and just put the number here and i want you to just see how this whole part ranking system is working because retrieval and ranking are not completely different but they are sort of following the same tactics so but they are their applications are definitely different so this was a part in the next part we would be looking at the testing the ranking models and how we can convert this model into tensorflow lite and use in the android application i will try my best to convert this whole model into an android application so that tensorflow lite would also have an experimental video here so that's it for the video as usual i will provide you the link to this notebook in the description section you can go and play with this notebook from there thank you and have a nice day